Hey guys, Derek Wagner here with the service marketing team. My partner in crime, Scott Kramer. We're here to do something just a little different, a little bit more exciting than what you guys are used to. Oh yeah. So you're gonna see in front of you a lot of different vehicles, um, a lot of new vehicles and a lot of old vehicles. A lot of vehicles mm -hmm. reproduced back in the day, right? Yep. So, you know, this month it's May, it's Indy 500. Hmm. We're talking about some fast cars running in Indy and we wanted to talk today about what are the top 10 fastest cars and boats and boat horizons ever produced right and we thought it'd be a great way to kick off the month of may again with the indy 500 yep. and just sort of talk about some of the killer products we produced over the years so let, let's get started number 10 the losi mini 8 yep now in my opinion this is one of the baddest vehicles we've ever produced for one reason. It's 14 scale, but it does about 30, 35 mile an hour on 3S. Correct. Which Correct. is pretty crazy, huh? Oh yeah. And it, we always talk about it and it's funny that we talk about how fast everything goes within miles per hour, but we never really do the math to say how fast they're going in scale. So like a 10 scale vehicle, we say, oh, it's going, you know, 50 plus miles an hour. But in scale, that's 500 miles an hour. So I'm not a mathematician, but 35 miles an hour at 14 scale, that's moving. That in scale. thing gets it. Yep. And even on 2S, oh, that yeah. thing is an absolute Absolutely. beast. Yeah. Right. And besides just the pure speed of the thing, it's based off of the eight a scale racing platform. So it handles like a dream too. Yeah. You know, and what we did not do, we didn't take the eight and dumb it down and make it smaller. Mm -hmm. We took the eight, like we put it in one of those machines <laughs> that don't exist, but they did. Yeah, Willy the Willy Wonka, Wonka and just shrunk it. And we kept the aluminum chassis. The the the, stop, the shocks are just overkill for this thing. Yep. Uh, adjustable, oil filled. You get you get all the advantage of the eight in a package that's half the size. <laughs> yeah. Right. Just yeah. A, just a killer overall platform. Oh yeah, yeah, and it's a blast, and it handles like a dream. Absolutely. We're gonna to go to number nine, which is not a car, it's actually a boat. I love boats, you know. Did I, I may be a car I may be a car guy, but I absolutely love boats. Um, this is the UL19 hydroplane. This thing is absolutely wicked. I mean, that is the only word that I could use to describe this. Um, you know, on the box we say 50 miles an hour, but when we were doing our testing and video shooting, we were hitting well over 60 miles an hour out of the box. On the water. On the water. Now, now let me say this. We say on the water, but when you think about it and you watch it, you've got half of the prop and the last half inch of the front sponsons on the water. The rest of it is basically out of the water, just skimming the surface, and that's why it's so fast. And it's just, you know, 40 foot rooster tail on it. Um, when you make your turn, the turn fin digs in, and you get a nice little spray off the turn fin. So this thing, like I said, it just, it looks wicked. It's wicked to drive. You have to stay on, on point the entire time. You can't take your eye off of it. It's just, it's awesome. You know, I've driven a lot of boats in my day here, and, and, and Pro Boat is notorious for being just the ex extreme performance when we're talking about our race boats, not our you know our sailboats or scale boats, but mm -hmm. on, on the race side of things, you know it's the same engineering team in California that works on TLR, Losi, um, that put they take that technology and they put it in the pro boat, and those guys are all about extreme. Oh yeah. And I and I remember the the first time I drove the UL19, I was, I mean it was wicked. I mean it was, and I think I drove it on 4S. Not even, I didn't even go all the yeah. way up to 6S on it. And it was literally the fastest boat I've ever driven. Yeah. Outside of a custom boat somebody's made with whatever they've put in it. I, I truly believe it is the fastest boat, fastest hydro you can buy out of the box today. Oh, most definitely. You know, it's, it's funny because my, my dad's actually a past national champion in the nitro hydro racing, you know, back in the day. And it's funny because he sees this thing and goes, that speed out of the box he's like well we had to do this and this and this and this and this you know and we were running 90 percent nitro methane to get it to go those speeds and he goes this thing you just charge the battery plug it in and go 
he was just blown away how it's, easy it's it was. Absolutely insane. Yeah. Number eight. One of my personal favorites, well, because it came out of my personal stash, I brought this <laughs> yep. from home today, is the ECX Revenge. Now this has been discontinued for a couple years now, but it still has a special place in my heart. And I, and I love it because I don't know what the ECX guys were thinking when they developed <laughs> this, but they went all out. The Revenge has an aluminum chassis. It is built like a tank, right? Now a lot of people say, well, it's built like a tank, it's heavy. Uh-uh, it, it, that isn't in fact performance at all. Yeah. This thing, when you put a 4S pack in it, you're hitting 50 mile an hour and it's still pulling. It is an absolute beast. Now I know we talked off the air and you hadn't driven this, so we're gonna give you a chance to drive this bad boy a little later today. Yeah, yeah. But in terms of power and overall performance, this is one of the, for the, for the, for the ECX customer, this was the next level of performance. And I think the price point at the time was around 400 bucks. Okay. So it, it outdid most com competitors' vehicles at that price point. And I've had this for three to four years now, and I just beat the tar out of it, and it just keeps bringing it every day. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely insane. Yeah, this is well before my time here, but the story, I mean, I hear so many stories about this thing. Um, you know, Alan, our videographer, was telling us the story about they were jumping, you know, as high as telephone poles, and just, you couldn't, you couldn't break the car as hard as you tried it, you just could not break it. And yeah, I, I can't wait to try this thing out and see how wicked it really we'll get is. You, we'll get you to try it out this afternoon. Nice. All right, moving on to number seven. Uh, we're gonna stick with the A-scale theme here. And uh, we don't have it out here on the table, but that is going to be the low C 8E RTR. Again, 50 miles an hour, right out of the box. Good to go, total speed demon. Um, now that one, which is a little bit different than the ECX, is based on its uh, big racing brother, let's call it TLR, the eight chassis from over there. But um, that one, 50 miles an hour out of the box, A-scale performance, all the same geometry as you know the more expensive TLR racing vehicle. So that one, not only do you get the crazy speed, but out of the box, you could uh, take it to your local track. It's, it's roar legal. Absolutely. So out of the box, throw in your batteries, go racing. Go yeah, have some fun. And, and you know, some people would ask, you know, why do we put it on the fastest list? Because it's really a, it's an RTR version of a race vehicle that is really designed for somebody who doesn't want to build a kit. We brought it to market at least for somebody who doesn't want to build a yeah. kit, but still wants to race. But the performance of the AD is just unmatched. I mean, first of all, it's one of the platforms that are just, it's it's always going to be uh, part of the part of the industry. People yeah. know the eight platform. Yep. And all we really did was you know, build the kit, put some different tires on it, make some small adjustments, and give the RTR consumer just a complete package oh, yeah. that they can race on the weekend. And when they bash it uh, at their house, you know, after work or wherever, I mean, 50, 55 mile an hour on an eight scale vehicle that handles like it's on rails is, is hard to come by now these days. Oh, yeah. And, and the 8E set a new, you know, I'm going to say it set a new ceiling for that type of vehicle. For sure, for sure. For every, for every one in the market. Yep. And then the other thing that's really cool about that one is, you know, some RTRs that are on the market, you can't fully upgrade them to that racing level where the AD RTR, I mean, there's so many TLR products that will bolt directly onto the car. I mean, you could put the the super expensive, you know, threaded big bore shock bodies on there. You could put, you know, some different internals in there and make the thing wicked fast. Um, and that's the other thing too that that we really haven't hit on, but we keep throwing out these speed numbers here. These speed numbers are out of the box. I, I know we say that a lot, but you don't have to put an extra pinion on there. You don't have to change a spur gear. You don't have to go to the most crazy you know, high output, high voltage battery out there. This is out of the box gearing. So a lot of the speeds we're telling you, that's kind of that's kind of the basement of where you could yeah. start. Like with the with the AD. I mean, we're 53, 54 miles an hour right out of the box. A simple pinion change, you're over 60. Yeah. So and, that's what's crazy. And about that's it. one thing I like about how we, um, when we talk about speed, whether it's just you and I 
you know, talking and making a video or if it's through our packaging or through our marketing materials. We don't, we, we want to be truthful with our audience and we want to know that there's a little bit left in the tank, right? So, oh, yeah. Um, yeah. you know, unlike some other companies who, you know, it's 75 mile an hour and you got to be going downhill with the wind <laughs> with 15 different changes to the vehicle, we rather just say, okay, it's 50 mile an hour of the box and if you make these changes, you're 60, 70, whatever mile an hour, mm -hmm. we'd rather go that direction, right? Yep, yep. And, and the part that I laugh about that is, you know, um, we released some, some new uh, <clears throat> products recently and, you know, we've put the 50 plus mile an hour on the boxes and everything, but every single person that's jumping online and doing their own little speed runs with their, you know, showing off their new toys, I haven't seen one post that's actually under it. They're all well over it. Like, like they kind of say, why don't you just say 60 plus miles an hour? Because I did 61 right out of the box. Right out of the box. So, no changes. but we're not, we're not trying to inflate anything. We're just trying to be as. Yeah. We'd rather, uh, we'd rather the consumer, you know, take it out, run 60 and go, wow. Yeah. Then, yeah. Be, then be underwhelmed if we said 70 with all these modifications and then they only ran 60, right? Correct. Correct. Much better yep. experience. So number six, one of the newest additions to the Losi and Tenacity family. One of my favorites. Is the Tenacity DB. Now, this may look somewhat familiar to you because we had a Tenacity SCBE, or not a Tenacity, a sorry, a 10 yep. SCBE, um, that this was basically built off of. This is an evolution of that platform. Yep. And what I love about this platform, and don't get me wrong, the 10 SCBE, incredible platform. I still oh, yeah. have one at home. It's bulletproof. But what we did is we took that platform and made it even better. We made it lighter. It's the same power system. Mm -hmm. So it's insanely fast, even faster than the SCBE. And you know, in the box, and when you when you buy the vehicle and it comes to the box and it's 50 mile an hour, that's a super low ball number. Oh yeah. Because of the, the, the extreme power system, it's lightweight. You're easily gonna hit 55 to 60 mile an hour with no modifications. Oh yeah. This thing sure. is absolutely insane. So just imagine. You put a bigger pin in on it. You made some, make some very basic changes, mm -hmm. and you may come close to 65, 70 mile an hour. Oh yeah, yeah. With, with really, you know, 15 minutes of work. Correct. Yeah, I mean, you know, I've I've gone on record, um, you know, in meetings here to the public that the SCBE is hands down my absolute favorite vehicle that we've ever released. You know, since I've been here, and once I saw this coming down the pipeline, I mean, I was all psyched up about that because because of exactly what you said it's lighter but it's got the same power package so there's another good four or five miles an hour right there so when we took this thing out and you know just slapped in the high voltage battery without any pinion changes it was it was absolutely awesome yeah i mean and you know out of everything here um it's it's one of the most ultimate packages you've got you've got the race proven 10 platform that it's based off of you've got you know, all the durability that Losi is known for. Um, and the scale looks are just, just awesome. I mean, with the drivers and the body and the wing and the, the LED light bar on there. Yeah. So this is kind of, you know, it's taking over my new favorite from the SCBE, but, uh, yeah. but it's still kind of in the same family. It definitely is the full package. You get speed, power, performance. And, you know, as we've told you guys, that's what Losi is all about. Yeah, yeah, right. performance driven. All right, moving on to number five. We have another favorite, which is the biggest one on our list, is the Losi DBXLE, which is our fifth scale electric buggy. Thing's a beast. It is, it is unbelievable to see that thing run. Um, it, you guys may be familiar with our DBXL, which is our gas version of our fifth scale buggy. And this is kind of based off of that. We made some improvements in the shock package and some of the geometry and stuff like that, where it, it handles like a dream. But it's amazing seeing something that big going that fast. It, it, it's absolutely, it, it's hard to explain how incredible this vehicle performs. I mean, the, the design team in California just went all out with this car. And, you know, it is it is, has to be the, in terms of fifth scale or just large scale, one of the, if not the most popular platform in the oh, market. Yeah. One, because 
It's you know aluminum chassis. It's com it's bulletproof. It'll go through anything, but it's got this. You know, it's got this power system in it that would, you know, power a, a Prius, <laughs> right? Probably beat a Prius. It probably would beat a Prius. Uh, definitely zero to 60 would beat a Prius, oh, yeah. right? And, you know, it takes up to 8S, and you can absolutely destroy the competition with this. Oh, yeah. And, you know, I won't name any names, but we've seen plenty of videos <laughs> online yeah. where some of our competitors take it head on, and it will literally, when you're playing tug of war with it, Pull two to three of the other competitors oh, yeah. that are other that are in this category. It is absolutely insane in terms of speed and power. It's at the you know it's at the higher end of the price point. I think it's mm -hmm. about a, a grand. Yep. Um, but I'll tell you, you get a lot of money. You, oh, or you yeah. get a lot of performance for that for that money. And it's one of those vehicles that's going to last you years and years, and it's going to continue to dominate the large scale market. For, I think a long time to come. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, one of the parts that I think is really cool about it is since obviously the DB and the SEBE were my favorites, when it comes to the large scale, the, the DBXLE is definitely one of my favorites there because it's basically the big brother. Well, technically it's a big brother to the Tenacity DB and our mini DB. So we've actually got a 14 scale yep. desert buggy, a 10 scale desert buggy, and a fifth scale desert buggy. So we got the whole family. Absolutely. Moving on to number four. It's another boat from Pro Boat. We don't have one on display, but you know what, guys? Go take a look at it on YouTube <laughs> after we get done with this because if you haven't seen this boat, you need to go take a look at it. It's the Zelos 36 brushless powered mm -hmm. dual motor, dual brushless yep. motor, 36 inch cat, mm -hmm. right? And the first time I drove this boat, I, had, I, I was completely set up. I'll be honest with you. We took it out to a local pond. Somebody just put 6S in it, right? And we did 62 mile an hour mm -hmm. on 6S out of the box. Yeah. Now, we talked about the UL19. It's a little bit smaller boat, but for a 36 inch boat to do 62 mile an hour out of the box, no modifications, is incredible. Now, there's a lot of, there's several competitors out there that have, um, you know, plastic boats that made, mm -hmm. th that they say to go a little bit faster. Let me tell you something. Pro Boat is known for quality and performance. This boat is fiberglass. Oh yeah. The, the power system is insane, dual brushless motors. It is an absolute adrenaline rush every time you drive it. Oh yeah. And, and what he says means absolutely nothing until you watch the video. That's, that's what blew me away is when you watch the video, and it's gonna sound strange for a boat, that thing cranks wheelies, wheelies. I, I I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw it the first time when they punched it and it didn't only jump out of the water, it cranked a wheelie, rode it, set it down and was gone. I mean, there's not many boats that you can say can, you know, crank a wheelie out of the water and it was no. just, no. <laughs> oh my I mean, it's gosh. one of those boats that I, you know, I, I usually don't say this, but I dare somebody to come up with something that's even similar in terms of performance right out of the box for yeah. that size of boat and performance and quality. When you take the, the, the canopy off of that boat, you know, it's all fiberglass. The engineering team in California just did a phenomenal job of laying everything out. Yeah, so the super center, clean. You know, the, the CG's right on. Um, there's a lot of detail that makes products like Low C and Pro Boat really stand out because all those little details that our team takes to make them perform just that yeah. much better is just absolutely out of control and I love it. Yeah, and that's one big thing that um, that we pride on our pride ourselves on is you know, and I'm not, you know, bashing on any other manufacturer out there, but if you if you look at the marketing people, you look at the you know, the product developers, the engineers, every single person who's doing it has an unbelievable passion for the hobby. It's not just, hey, I'm an engineer and I'm gonna de design this boat because you know, that's my job to do it. These are the people, I mean, Raphael, our, our PD, I mean, he's out there every second of the day living this, breathing it, just, you know, he's, he's an accomplished racer, just like all of our TLR and Losi guys are well-known national champion caliber drivers. So they, they get it more than just a standard, hey, this is my job, this is what I do. These guys go home and take out their personal stuff. Well said. Number 
number three, moving on, um, we're getting away from the dirt and we're getting to the asphalt. This is the one that really exemplifies Losi and the performance-driven aspect of it. I would agree. And this is the um, six-scale Audi. This thing, when when I first when I saw it for the first time, I seriously had to question whether it was a running model because it looked so to scale, so perfect. Like it should basically just be sitting on the counter as a display item. It was that authentic and in just beefy and solid and wicked fast oh my gosh is that thing fast again you could run it on 6s you know sits about you know an eighth to a quarter inch off the ground super super low like that um has the spectrum abc in it which is great because the speeds that you're running with it um the first time i drove it i actually drove it on the runway out at eli field yeah. and i was doing it doing filming with one of our pilots because we were racing an airplane in the in the Audi and it was I was blown away at how fast that thing is and being so low to the ground it looked twice as fast now you know we, I gotta you know say like you know like the Revenge and like some of the other vehicles we're talking about that vehicle has been discontinued for a couple of years mm -hmm. right but it's worthy of being on the list oh yeah because it's such an, an in it, it was such an insane idea that we said, you know what, we gotta make something like this happen. Yeah. Now we're not the only company that's, or manufacturer that's made an on-road car that's capable of really high speeds. But back to our point earlier, you know, we know Losi's all about doing things just a little better. So when I drove, I drove some of the competitors' cars, I drove the the Audi 6, and you could tell immediately, I mean, it was, it was like driving a Porsche versus a Corvette in oh, terms yeah. of handling yeah. and overall performance. It had, the, it had all the power you'd ever need. Um, I think the one I drove hit about 80 mile an hour before I ran out of road. Yeah. And thanks to ABC, I was actually able to control it. And you know, it's a substantial investment. The last thing you want oh, to yeah. do is, is, is crash an on-road vehicle at 80 mile an hour because to be honest with you guys, and you know, you guys know this, there's gonna be quite a few things to break. Mm -hmm. um, the nice thing about the Audi is it looked good, it performed well, it was probably one of the, if not the fastest on-road cars at the time yep. that you could actually control. And uh, it, it just, it absolutely blew my mind when I drove it for the first time. And we still have one that's on display here in marketing that every time I walk by, I'm thinking about <laughs> how to sneak that out of the building and take that home and drive it some more. But yeah. I still have to figure that out. Yeah, yeah, you and me both. And again, the other part that just is so beautiful about it is that you know, you've seen a ton of 10 scale, authentic scale looking vehicles. This is a six scale. I mean, the Audi is actually bigger in length, probably probably longer and maybe just as wide as the Super Baja Ray. So, I mean, that's, that's, that's what people forget sometimes is how big some of the large scale stuff actually is. And when you see something that big going that fast, you, you know, when you watch the video, you swear it's a real car. Yeah, it, it looks like a real car. Definitely. Right. Moving on to number two. Now, I got to tell you guys, this is uh, has another you know place in my heart. Mm. And when I have family over at the house, and we talk about RC, and a lot of them aren't familiar with the hobby grade RC aspect, and they look at you know I have some of my vehicles hanging on my wall and. The first question I get asked, which is typically the common question we all get asked with RC, oh, yeah. is, "Well, how fast does it go?" And I, you know, I usually tell people, "Well, I have, you know, some of these vehicles go 20 mile an hour, some go five mile an hour, some of the crawlers, mm -hmm. and there's a couple that go 70 or 80 mile an hour." And they're like, "No, come on, really?" So what do I do? I pull out the old Speed T. Now, some of you may remember this, some of you may not, but this is this is way back in the day. Oh yeah. Right? This is when. Um, we wanted to provide a vehicle that was an that was an on-road vehicle that had the off-road look, mm -hmm. but that was just w over the top. So <laughs> yeah. it included a an insane, if you remember, accelerant brushless system. Yep. And when you put, I think it was rated for 3S, but you mm -hmm. know me, I always like to go over the top. So I, when you put a 4S pack in this, 
you know, I'm hitting 75 mile an hour easy oh, yeah. down my block and everybody that's coming over to my house looking at this thing, you know, they're dropping their drinks, they're drooling on themselves, they can't <laughs> believe oh, yeah. the performance that this thing has. And I know it's been discontinued for five plus years, but this is a, a speed freak. And if you are all about having an adrenaline rush, if you can find one of these somewhere at a local shop or on eBay, this is something you may want to get your hands on. At least put it on your bucket list because you want to drive one of these. Oh yeah, yeah. Through the social media stuff, you know, we get a lot of messages, and and this is one of the. Whenever we post, you know, every once in a while we'll post a picture of this, you know, Throwback Thursday or something, and everyone wants us to bring this thing back. They're like you got to bring it back. You got to make a new version of it. So, you know. Like we tell people, we can't even keep the the uh, wheelie bar wheels in stock because they're constantly getting worn out. Yeah, from that's about the fifth wheelie the bar thing. I've had on that thing. <laughs> um, but you never know. If we keep getting comments that we want to see something like this come back, maybe if we get enough, we can talk mm. the product development team into bringing it back. I think we could bribe them donuts, maybe. They do like donuts. They do like donuts. All right, here we are. We're at the top of the list finally. Um, again, this what we wanted to do is get some of the fastest vehicles from Losi, ECX, Pro Boat, and just let you guys know uh, this is what we think. This is some of the top 10 lists that we've had over the, over the past, you know, quite a few years. Losi's been around for a long time. But uh, now, moving on to the number one spot. That is taken by the Losi Super Baja Ray, our brand new uh, six scale desert truck release. This thing is an absolute beast. Again, like we try and tell you guys, it's big, it's fast, but when you see it in person running, that's what just, it blows everyone away. Um, it's got all the scale details on it. It looks just like it, handles just like the actual, you know, live axle truck that's out there. Um, so out of the box, we keep talking about our out of the box speeds. We've hit well over 60 miles an hour out of the box. Now, of course, we're always pushing the limits. We're always doing cool things. Um, if you follow, the, you know, the Losi Instagram or, or Facebook page, you'll see some video out there of this thing cranking a wheelie, cranking a wheelie at 67 miles an hour. I couldn't believe the video when I saw it, so I watched it three or four times. Oh, I yeah. called the proc developer to make sure they weren't pulling kind oh, of no. tricks on it. Nope. 67 mile an hour on a wheelie still pulling and they ran out of road <laughs> yeah basically they're gonna end up in a parking lot so but that's not it folks if you go check our other video that we have that we recently i think posted last week or the week before 75 miles an hour with the sbr and that is a six scale desert truck this thing is built and designed to go off road to hit the big jumps to hit the big gaps rail the berms all that kind of stuff it's doing 75 plus miles an hour on the street. That is just wicked. It's insane. The, the probably one of the most popular vehicles on the market today, and it's probably gonna stay, it's probably gonna you know, stay at the top of the, yeah, oh yeah. top of the ladder until we release something a little later in the year that mm -hmm. people are gonna get excited about, right? But um, the first time I drove this um, on just 6S, um, absolutely blown away. I mean, mm -hmm. 50 mile an hour, I know we put it in the box, and again, it goes back to, we want to be fair to people. Yeah. 50 mile an hour, this thing, it doesn't even care about 50 mile an hour. It's looking at 60 plus, easy out of the box with no changes. Um, there's a couple Facebook groups on um, that just all it's focused on is Super Baja yeah. Ray, and those guys, those are great. I'm not even going to say the numbers they're reaching. You guys can check out those pages. Mm -hmm. um, it is absolutely insane, and it hit our, it's number one on our list, right, because of the size the top speeds it's reaching, mm -hmm. and just the incredible power plant it has inside of it. Oh yeah. Our product development team in California are absolutely the best engineers and product developers I believe in the industry. They made one of the best platforms that somebody could make. It oh, handles yeah. well, it's not out of control, it looks great, um, just all around killer, killer truck. Yep, and again, I mean, like you even said, out of you know, it doesn't get out of control, and that's thanks to the Spectrum AVC. Again, it's a huge help. A, um, I'd say the majority, well, almost every low C vehicle that we've released in the last few years comes standard with AVC, yep. which is great. Um, and what's cool about the AVC is that it's not on or off. You can dial, you can dial it from zero to 
you know, full on in every single step in between. You know, every time we go out and shoot video, you know, you want everything to look good. So being a racer, I don't like, don't want to use AVC, but oh yeah, I definitely cheat and crank the AVC up and it keeps it straight as an arrow, even yeah. when it's loose. And I'll tell you guys what, now that we got you guys pumped up and you're like, man, I need something that goes fast. You may not be in the market for a new vehicle, but you may have an existing vehicle. So here's what we're going to do. Starting May 28th, we're going to take 10% off of select mm -hmm. dynamite power systems, ESCs, and motors, and 10% off of select dynamite LiPo batteries so that you can take your vehicle's performance to the next level. Nice. So keep an eye on the Horizon Hobby and Tower Hobby's Facebook pages and their websites as that sale kicks off on May 28th. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Oh, yeah. Comment for us if you like it. If you have any other ideas, which you know, any other cars that you think should be part of the lineup, mm -hmm. let us know. We'd love to hear it. Thanks for your time. All right, so uh, are we gonna go run the Audi right now? Let's go steal it. All right.